arithmetic and geometric sequences in the real world. Jonathan is trying to figure out the boiling point of water for a science experiment. In order to do this, he has a glass of water and will change the temperature of the water until the water boils. In order to do this experiment, Jonathan has three things, a glass of water, a timer, and a stove. Jonathan will use the stove to heat up the water and therefore see what temperature it takes to boil. Then he will use the timer to see how many minutes it took for the water to boil. So next here we have the stove that Jonathan is going to be boiling the water on. On the stove, there is also a dial, which indicates what you have set the temperature as. When Jonathan initially sets the water onto the stove, he sets the temperature to be 50 degrees Celsius. Jonathan then adds 5 degrees Celsius after the first minute, and another 5 degrees Celsius after the second minute. He continues to add 5 degrees Celsius every minute until he reaches the boiling point of water. John notices that it takes 10 minutes after the initial first minute to achieve boiling point, which he found was at 100 degrees Celsius, making it a total of 11 minutes. If Jonathan's calculations are correct, how can he prove this with an arithmetic sequence? Let's see. In order to solve this, we first have to know the formula for an arithmetic sequence. The formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. a sub 1 is the initial term and d is the common difference. That's what makes it an arithmetic sequence. We know that Jonathan initially turned the stove to 50 degrees Celsius, which makes his A sub 1 50. Jonathan also turned the stove up 5 degrees Celsius each time, which makes his common difference 5. And it took him a total of 11 minutes to reach boiling point, making the N 11. Therefore, we could substitute these numbers into the equation and solve for the final result. Therefore, A sub N equals 100 degrees Celsius, which is what Jonathan got. In our next scenario, we are going to use a geometric sequence. Amy is doing the same science experiment as Jonathan, trying to find out the boiling point of water. Amy has the same three materials as Jonathan, a glass of water, a stove, and a timer. However, Amy is going to figure out the boiling point of water a different way than Jonathan is. Amy has the same stove as Jonathan, therefore it shows the temperature increasing by fives on the dial. However, Amy is not going to necessarily increase the temperature by five each time like Jonathan did. Even though Amy is not going to be increasing temperature the same way that Jonathan did, she is still going to measure her time in minutes. In the first minute, when Amy put the water onto the stove, she increased the temperature to 50 degrees Celsius. 
just like Jonathan did. Amy then continued to increase the temperature by 10% every minute. Finally, the water reached boiling point between the 8th minute and the 9th minute. After 9 minutes, the water was officially at boiling point. However, between the 8th and 9th minute is when it began to boil. To check her work, Amy decided to put this into a geometric sequence. In a geometric sequence, the equation is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1, where a sub 1 is the initial term and r is the common ratio, which makes a geometric sequence. Now Amy can take her data and substitute it into the equation. Amy's a sub 1 is going to be 50 because she started off with 50 degrees Celsius, and her r is going to be 1.1 because she increased by 10% each time, therefore she has the whole number and the 10%. Then, after putting it into the equation, she can solve for the 8th minute and the 9th minute. She got the 8th minute to be 97.4358 degrees and the 9th minute to be 107.179 degrees. Therefore, the boiling point of water is somewhere between those two numbers, which also corresponds with Jonathan's data. Now, if they wanted to know the total temperature applied for all of the data combined, they can use the sum formulas for each of the arithmetic and geometric equations in order to figure this out. For the arithmetic equation, the sum formula is n over 2 times a1 plus a n. Then we substitute Jonathan's values into that formula, and we could find the sum of all the temperatures. Jonathan found the sum to be 825. Next, Amy tried to find the sum of her geometric sequence by using the formula s sub n equals a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r. Now all Amy has to do to find the sum of the geometric sequence is substitute the numbers that she got into the equation. Since Amy was looking up at the full minutes, she knows that even though it boiled between the 8th and 9th minute, she's going to round it up to the 9th minute and solve with the value n equals 9. Finally, Amy got s sub n equals 678.